Hello and welcome again to my Dev Concepts video series. I'm Svetlin Nakov from SoftUni, the software university. And today we'll take a closer look at how GUA frameworks work with a wife code example. In programming, GUA means graphical user interface, which is a system to interact visually with users through UI controls such as forms, buttons, text boxes, and others. You know them from the UI apps you use every day. In this session, I will show you a simple desktop app based on the Windows Forms UA framework. I will build a simple calculator which sums two numbers in a desktop app. We'll get familiar with the structure and the front-end part of the app, the main form holding the UI controls and the other app components. We'll look at how the app is built by extending a class from the UI framework, from a composition of UI components, and also how event handlers are called from the framework to respond to users' interactions. The demo code is designed to run in Windows environment using Visual Studio and .NET framework, so it can't run in Macs or Linux. Sorry, this is a limitation of the Windows Forms technology from Microsoft. Okay, let's now continue and demonstrate the Windows Forms UI framework with a wife code example. This is a simple example how UA frameworks work. Windows Forms is a classical software framework for development of desktop graphical user interface UA apps for Microsoft Windows. It is based on the .NET flat platform and the C-sharp language. Windows Forms provides a programming model and 3GI control library for building UA apps. Additionally, the Visual Studio IDE uh, provides a very powerful visual UI builder uh, for Windows Forms, where developers design the user interface by dragging and dropping UI controls and configuring their properties and events. Windows Forms is an object-oriented framework. Uh, your app is a form uh, which is an object-oriented class. Mm. And this class inherits its functionality and behavior from a base class from the framework. Additional UI controls such as uh, labels and text boxes and buttons are added as data fields in the app class. The UI controls uh, are inserted into the tree of controls of components of the parent container. This is the event handler for the button click event for the calculate sum button in the app. This is uh, the C-sharp code which follows the Windows form programming model. The program logic here uh, does the following uh, takes the text from the first two text boxes and converts it to numbers, calculate their sum and displays the sum uh, in the third text box. The technical implementation is not important here. You can focus on the idea how UA apps work not on this particular example and its C-sharp code. Um, the important concept here is how the app is built by extending a class from the UI framework, how the app is built from component composition of components, and how event handlers are called by the framework to add functionality to the components in the app. Now let's see the previous example in action. I have prepared a Visual Studio project holding the Windows Forms app from the example. 
This is the form designer in Visual Studio. For, for Windows Forms GUI apps, on the left we see the toolbox. It holds a list of UI controls. Uh, available from the UI framework. At the center we see the main apps screen. Uh, the main form with the UI controls inserted in it. We can see the code, the C-sharp code generated by the UI designer tool by clicking F7. Uh, we have two files behind the, the form. Form .cs and form .designer.cs. On the right, we see the app files solution explorer and properties window, windows, uh, the properties editor. When we select uh, certain UI control in the form designer, like this text box, uh, we see on the right its properties, name, location, size, font, text content and others. When we double click on certain UI control, we can edit the C-sharp codes for its default event handler. We double click the calculate sum button, we see the C-sharp code which will be executed when the button is clicked by the app user. Uh, this is the code we already discussed. It takes the values from the first two text boxes, uh, sum, uh, calculates their sum and displays it in the third text box. When we run the app by clicking Start button in Visual Studio, uh, it takes some time to compile build the app and our app now is live and running. We enter 3 and 5 and we calculate their, their sum, 8. The code here is not important. We don't try to understand, don't try to understand it completely. I just want to show you what GUI framework is and how a UI designer tool can simplify the work uh, of your development. And all this as a concept, not specifically with the Windows Forms technology. Did you like this lesson? Do you want more? Join the learners community at softunit.org. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to get more free video tutorials on coding, dev concepts and software development. Get access to more free dev lessons and learning resources for developers. Get free help from mentors and meet other learners. And it's all free, so Join now, softuni.org.